Hello folks, it's an empty chair My usual start to my videos But I am going to sit down a minute And hopefully I've got the angle right I probably don't But I have received a package just this afternoon from Larry <laughs> And he's done it again He has sent me something that I really really like and it's, and it's to wear. So let's see what he sent me. Uh, let's see. Without further ado. Can everyone see my t-shirt? If I sit down. Yes. That's good. Unpaid movie critic. That's me. <laughs> so thank you very much for this, Larry. It, it fits rather nicely. I'd like it to fit a little bit better in terms of my own sturdiness but uh, the t-shirt itself is in fact perfect so I would I, I need to work on my uh, walking and stuff but as I say I've, this week I've not been not been doing that because of my injured heel and my injured nose and yeah the smallest violins again I'm repaired now my nose is okay now and my heel's pretty much so I'm pretty much back to good good stead so I was going to talk about today well, I was actually going to show you some pickups I've got from CEX, but I went out at lunchtime. The reason I went out at lunchtime is I had a couple of magic cops that I ordered from Amazon last night for £15. I had a £10 voucher, so it cost me 5 and I wanted to trade those in. And I wanted to trade those in because the reason I got them is there was a couple of things on the CEX website that I wanted to buy. I can't get a I can't get a word of edgeways for Charlie, can I? So I've completely forgot what I was saying now. I was saying I we took a couple of magic cups because they're trading for a thirteen pound voucher at the moment, so you get twenty six pound voucher for fifteen pound of cash. Because I wanted to use that to offset a couple of CEX postage purchases that I'm going to buy. And you know what? Even though I've got the credit for it, I still don't want to do it. CEX postage, but the postage has just went up. So actually £3 isn't unreasonable at the moment. Because I posted a couple of packages this week and they cost me, a, I don't want to say an arm and a leg, but certainly, certainly cost me a bit. So... Maybe the CEX, if they were to increase the price now, it'd be, you know, bad. But £3 maybe isn't as bad as all that now. Only because of the price increase. Previously it was. So, as I was saying, I've done that. And right over from the CEX is a charity shop. I mean, literally right over from the charity shop. Uh, and I, my son came with me because he wanted to spend his pocket money, and he got some Lucky's Aid, which he's kindly gave me some of, which is nice, nice of him. So no cup of tea today, but a Lucky's Aid instead. I do like Lucky's Aid, but for that, that was awfully better. Maybe it's because I'm used to drinking a cup of tea at this time uh, with my videos. So. That's that charity shop I check every time I go to CX and most of the time most of the time there's not much there. But there is the occasional good fight and today I was like, oh they've up, they've updated the basket. Let's see what's in it. And there was four items in it that I've taken and I was planning on trading most of them in again for CX credit. But one of them I think I'm gonna keep because I've never seen it before. And my wife says she really enjoyed that film, so I will keep it. She says she's seen that, but not for a long time. Oh, that one. Yeah, so without further ado, I will show you what I got from the charity shop. We'll start off with... Played £3 for Chaplin. The very first movie I've ever seen, I've ever seen them in. It trades for £8, and I was going to do that, but my wife said this is a good film, I should watch it. I probably will end up on my shelf and I'll, I'll probably watch it's it eventually. It's the very, very first one I've ever seen one. And I checked it out and this is absolutely perfect. 
So this one will probably most likely be going into the collection. It says from legendary director Richard Attenborough comes the epic story of true cinematic icon Charlie Chaplin. So there we go. So I thought I'll keep that one. Right. The shirt I've got on now, okay, this is unpaid movie critic. Am I still in shot? Because I'm missing a weird angle. Yes, we can actually go through shot. That, that's okay, can you? That's okay. Yes. That's okay. Uh, so, I picked up these movies. And for a movie enthusiast, I do not know why I have not watched these movies. I haven't watched them ever. No, I can. Maybe I've watched them and I can't recall it, but I don't think I've ever seen these movies before. And in the box was the Blu-ray set of The Godfather. The complete restoration. So for £4, I thought, yeah, you know, that, that's a charity shop. That's not too bad for the charity shop. For, you know, it's a pound, a pound of Blu-ray because there's three Blu-rays plus the thing. So as you can see, I'm trying to justify myself here because I spent money I probably shouldn't have. But... I looked at these and they were all in good condition. So I took them. And it's a set of movies that I have not seen. So I got those. I've been moving my drink now. That does taste more bitter than normal. I don't know why. But I've also seen this. And that's the Fast and Furious. Eight movie collection for four pound again this trades for eight pound but i don't know whether i'll trade it or not because it's a really nice neat set and i think i've got the fast and furious movies on my shelf and you know sometimes space for my collection is better than money so i'm going to look to see how many of these movies i've got and if this box makes it a night much neater set then I'm probably just going to keep this one. I have got Fast and Furious number one on 4K. And I think I've got number, let me have a wee look over here. Yeah, I have got number eight on 4K as well, but I don't have any of the others on 4K. And to be honest with you, they're not my favourite movie. So it's good to have the ones I've got on 4K, but... I wouldn't deliberately upgrade the other ones unless they were cheap because I'll be honest with you, I haven't seen any after three. I don't think I've even seen, I haven't seen five, six, seven, eight, nine or ten or what was in show. But this is a really nice, neat set and if that gives me more shelf space, then that's maybe worth more than £8 to me. So that is that. The next thing I got was... A series that I probably shouldn't be watching. I think it's more a girl series. Yeah. But I like the medical drama in it. And I've seen seasons 1 to 11 or maybe even 1 to 12 or 13 in this set. And this was in the charity shop. Seasons 1 to 13 of Grey's Anatomy on DVD. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I wanted. I looked at the trading value on this, and it's sixteen pound. And I was going to trade it, and I probably still am going to trade it, but I didn't check any of this. I wasn't going to sit in the charity shop and go through thirteen seasons of Grey's Anatomy. I think I've got seasons one to eleven, and you know, I could keep this, but you know, I I won't. I won't. I won't because it's on. It's on streaming. I've seen them all two or three times. It'll probably be a few more years. And I've got seasons 1 to 11 already. So as long as these discs are in good order, that'll be going. And that'll get my £16 back of credit to CEX. So I feel a little bit justified in that. I'll try to justify myself, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so there we go. And um, Yesterday when I was out uh, in the charity shops, I found just one Blu-ray 
at, for 50p and it's called Force Majeure and it looks like it's a disaster movie. The sun is beaming on the ski slopes and spectacular Thomas and his wife e Eb and his two children. However, during lunch, I mean, an avalanche suddenly bears down. So, right up my street, disaster movie. And it's an artificial eye, that's what caught my eye. Because Roy says they're always decent movies and they also usually trade in for a decent amount. So I thought, you know, I might trade it in. But again, it's a disaster movie and that's right up my street. So this will probably be going into the collection too, he says. And the last thing I got, and I'm going to be honest with you, I bought this to sell on eBay. And it's A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. VHS in perfect condition for a pound and I actually sold a, a VHS the other day chapter two or something that was was and I sold it for five pound and I only put two pound postage in it the postage was actually three pound sixty nine so by the time eBay fees and that came off I probably only made two quid so it wasn't really worth it so I'm actually not sure what I'm going to do with this now I need to list it for a decent price, and I need to sell for a decent price before it before it made any, you know, inroads on there. But it's definitely got ni nice artwork. Uh, Nightmare, on, and I haven't actually seen this. I've only seen the first Nightmare on Elm Street. That's the one to yeah, and uh, somebody's obviously watched it because they never remind it. <laughs> you turn away when you to work in a video shop. Yeah, look, they're not remind it. Ages remind them now. And like it's got somebody paid nine ninety nine for this at some point, so I thought I thought I would do that, but that was that was before I went and posted the other ones. So just a nice wee Friday night video showing you what I got in the charity shop, showing off my excellent new T-shirt. Thank you to Larry. Oh, there's a wee bit of fluff on it. Can I have that? <laughs> so I'm I'm, I'm uh, pretty happy and a good start to the weekend. I am going to the ice hockey playoffs this weekend for Scottish National League. I go to the ice hockey with my kids. They enjoy it. I enjoy it. And there's three games this weekend. Two on the Saturday, one on the Sunday. So I'm not going to be around much. Yay! Life gives peace! <laughs> but I'll probably still film my shelf video for you. Uh, whether I'll move to the next shelf or do the next bit, I'm not quite sure. So look out for that. And... The channel's been going really well lately. I've picked up like a lot of new subscribers. So if you are new to the channel, please say hello down below. Tell me why you subscribed and uh, is there something that I'm doing that, that you they like or you really like physical media like I do? Or is it... You would have subscribed if you didn't like it. I'm like, what was it? But it would be nice to say hello to the new subscribers and also my, my uh, long-standing... Ones. I wonder who my first subscriber ever was. I think it was my daughter. I think it was Molly. Probably. Yeah, that was me. Yeah, Roy, Roy, he was down in the 200s and uh, Larry's been with me for quite a while too. Trevor's been, yeah, there's a lot, uh, a lot of, a uh, lot of subscribers. It doesn't always tell you who's subscribed to your channel though, so there you go. So if you are new and you, and you fancy saying hello, then please say it in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Thanks guys. And I'll catch you next time.